Hey guys, Smitty here, and recently I finally got the Kappa container, and what I think is going to be the biggest thing that keeps people from getting Kappa as well and gatekeeps them is going to be killing the rogue bosses. This is mainly from the unique spawning mechanic that they have that causes them to rotate between the four maps that they spawn on, being Shoreline, Woods, Customs, and Lighthouse. And there's no way to tell what map that they're going to be on besides going off of the reports of other players or using websites like Goon Tracker, which I'll link below. And if this isn't enough, their spawn rate is between 7-10% to 10 depending on the map, which I'll show here. So my advice for accurately locating them is going to be check Goon Tracker and look at the reports list on the dashboard area. And if there's multiple reports in a row within an hour or two of each other, I would definitely say it's worth spam running that map until new reports pop up elsewhere. Another option is also going to be going into Twitch chat and checking to see if other people or streamers have ran into them. Typically, I want to say bosses stay on a map from anywhere between two to five hours, but I'm not 100% sure since there's no official number. Before I hop into the route I run in the boss locations, I want to emphasize how important it is to utilize two main things when fighting. These things are going to be getting a right hand peek from behind solid cover and utilizing grenades to force AI to make voice comms. Before the point 13 patch, Birdeye did not make any footsteps or voice lines, but now he does make voice lines when he throw grenades like the other guards, Knight and Pipe. So if you kill Pipe or Knight right off the rip, like most people do, since they have more aggressive AI, this is gonna allow you to track down Bird Eye and not just get silent one shot by him. But moving into the run, going up to the weather station here, which is gonna be the only spawn on shoreline, we're gonna head up from the bottom of the mountain here, in which I do recommend you loop around the side of the weather station. If you spawn on the other side of the weather station and closer towards the tunnel extract, you will loop around all the way over here and then come from this side and then come up. You're gonna wanna come up over here and we're gonna wanna position ourselves behind this rack of generators. It's like a little wall over here. Do a little circle peek, look out. They can spawn over there, but typically they're bunched up over here, more so closer to the weather station of this truck. Pipe or some of the other guards can be sitting right here. So get a right hand peek and kind of like check it, jiggle it, and then run forward. And this wall right here is we're gonna be uh, doing most of our fighting. We're gonna get a right hand peek check under this truck for feet check this doorway right here check behind the truck and then if you do kill one here well that's gab if you do kill one here or pull aggro from over here and you don't feel safe you can just go through this door right here and run into the bathroom close the door and the goon should bug out and try to open up the door or just kind of glide through it and you should be able to see their heads and just shoot them through the door or as they're opening the door and they can't shoot you. As seen in this clip by a fellow streamer, Value Fries. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so now we're here on Customs at Stronghold, and this is going to be the only spawn on Customs for the goons. Typically, they spawn outside on the left side or the right side. I guess this would be middle or the right side if you're looking head on at Stronghold uh, the most. And then they also spawn inside. It's very rare for me to see them spawn on the back side here. This is only like what I've encountered. But if they do, what I recommend is you run all the way around this train if you end up getting old gas spawn. And you kind of do a little circle jiggle peek right there from behind the train car as cover. And check to see if they're there. If not, run into the back and go towards the ZV extract, and then you can push from inside of Stronghold. Uh, when you're running up to check these spawns though, from the other side of the map or the middle side of the map, all these little crates are great for cover. Typically, they spawn very close to Stronghold, like I was saying earlier. So it's pretty easy to just be able to move up and then start fighting them. If they spawn inside, crates that the building's made out of, or these like concrete pillars or little inside rooms are great. That's what I ended up killing them with this wipe because it's all solid cover and they can't actually wall bang you through them. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Don't you dare. We're now at the USAC Hotel in front of me here, which is going to be the first spawn on this map. There is two. The second one's going to be over at the Rogue Compound. I'll get to that later. Uh, what I recommend doing to check this is come down from Chalet or get behind this house, and then you can end up using the house and this random stuff in front of you as cover for when you jiggle peek. You kind of check to see if the bosses are here on the outside. 
And if they're not, and they are here, they're going to be inside. And this is going to allow you to safely approach and push inside. This is one of the better places to fight them, honestly, because it is a building and there's lots of different walls and cover that you can use to kind of get them on a good angle. Uh, what I've seen a lot of people do is once they realize that they're in here and they start pushing them, run inside of this bathroom and you can grab a good right hand peek and kind of use this as an Alamo as your last little holdout spot. Uh, another thing I've noticed, though, is that if you end up running from one of these spawns on this side of the map, Bird Eye and the other goons can be in the bushes outside and they can kind of aimbot you before you even get a chance to get up close and fight them. And that's the reason why I don't really recommend approaching from this side. If they spawn in the outside here, they're going to end up shooting you through the bushes long before you can actually see them, but they'll see you due to how AI works. All right, so now we're at building one of the rogue compound. They can spawn anywhere between here, the front area of building one, if you're coming from the left side, uh, all the way to the right area, the right courtyard of building two, the area between two and three. They can spawn over there as well. All the area throughout what I just said, they can spawn at. So the best way to clear this is to find a nice little place that has cover. Like say you're coming from over there. You post up behind this truck here. You grab a nade and then you chuck it to see if you get any response or aggro from them. This is basically the best way of finding out where they are and having them come to you rather than you peeking a corner and then getting caught in a bad situation by staring at all the goon squad. All right, so now we're on woods and there's going to be two locations that they can spawn at on this map. One is going to be this radio tower with the scab bunker beneath it over here. And then the other is going to be over by those group of Connex crates further off in the distance behind this. Uh, the easiest way to kill them, in my opinion, which I'll be showing here in a second, is shooting them from either that rock over there or scav camp, or I'm sorry, USEC camp over there where that tent is. You can pull their aggro and bait them around rocks and kill them a little bit easier. Uh, or you can push up to where I am right here and you can kill one, preferably one, and then run straight down into the bunker. And then in this doorway, you can just sit and bait a right hand and wait for them to run down the stairs and it should be pretty easy kills. All right, so now we're at the USEC camp over here I was talking about. Make our way over to these rocks. That is the radio tower and the scab bunker that we were just talking about that they spawn at. If you throw some grenades or take pot shots over there, or if you bring a scope, which I heavily advise if you're doing this, you might even be able to headshot and snipe one if you're running 308. Uh, they will start running all the way from down there over here, most likely on the left side of this lake and come up to you and you can just wait right here, hold an angle and they'll push up the hill and you should be able to get a free kill. Uh, the only hard part about this is most likely bird eye, but since they now made him have voice taunts, you can throw grenades and bait him out and you shouldn't have that hard of a time. That's going to be the end of the guide portion of this video, guys. Hopefully, it's able to help you with your journey to Kappa and to kill the goons. I'm going to be showing some gameplay now of where I killed them live on stream. Make sure to get in there and say hi the next time we're live. Link down in the description. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Um. What? They're British? All right, listen, here's the plan, right? I gotta... I can't let this guy steal him. I can't move either. I did it. I spawned the goons. Please don't tell me he just killed one of them. Dude, where is Knight? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not panic and do something here. We nade, right? If he doesn't move from the nade into a spot we want, we go loot one of the other bodies, we get another nade. Nice job, babe. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yeah!
Yes, dude. Oh! Oh, first shot. We got it. We got it on the first go. It took two days, but we got it. I was here, baby. Oh. All right. I don't think I've been that, like, shaky from Tarkov or, like, you know what I mean? Filled with adrenaline in so long. Yo, their voice lines are crazy. Their voice lines are sick. Why does he not have his backup gun? You loot it? Don't turn it to him. He's toxic. No. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Thank you, flute. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Alright, so, right? If I am correct, and we tallied up the streamer items and all the quests correctly, we should be able to turn this in and immediately get collector and turn that in. You scared me so bad. Okay. Where is it? Do I have to restart my game? Oh no. Surely I don't need to do any of these though, right? There's no way I need to do any of these. I thought this was just an XP task. 